Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Everyone, concentrate here. Concentrate here. For example, today topic is house bank. Today topic is house bank. Okay. For example, for example, who am who am I am CM one zero. I am CM one zero. And uh, I have to deal with. I have deal with vendor. And I have deal with the customer. I have deal with the customer. So I have deal with vendors, and I have deal with the customers. I have deal with the customer. Now everyone concentrate here. Now my question is, where I can maintain? Vendor ma vendor bank details. Where I can maintain customer bank details. Same way, where I can maintain CM one zero company code, company related bank master data. Our company example. I am CM one zero. Where I can maintain my bank master data? The answer is house bank. The answer is house bank. House bank in the house bank is called a house bank. In the house bank, I can maintain my bank details. Who I am? I am CM one zero. CM Steels Private Limited. CM Steels. Private Limited. So there, in the CM, is CM one zero CM Steels Private Limited bank details. I can maintain in house bank. I can maintain in the house bank. Why Priyanka? What is the message? Who? Oh. Guys, please listen that class. Ah, huh? what is this message? Everyone, concentrate here. Please, guys, don't disturb. Huh? Please. <coughs> CM10. What is the message, Priyanka? Any doubts? Any doubts? Sir, nothing, sir. Nothing, sir. And mistakenly you send that okay, message. Okay. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, class, ma. Please. <coughs> guys, concentrate here. Where I can maintain my uh, where I can maintain my uh, bank details means bank name, bank address, bank account number, like blah 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 X Y Z. Where I can maintain in house bank. What is the T code? F I one two F I one two. The T code is called F I one two. Then where I can maintain vendor vendor bank details. Vendor bank details I can maintain in vendor master data. Vendor master data T code guys. Vendor master data T code. F K. N anyone? Zero one. Zero one. In the F K zero one I can maintain vendor bank details. In F D zero one. F D zero one. FD01 I can maintain customer bank details same way same way same way our company code or our company bank details I can maintain in house bank what is the bank details what is the bank master data example bank name bank address bank address bank account number Like uh, telephonic number, blah 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 X Y Z, bank details. Okay, this is the things. Understood, guys? What I am telling? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Everyone, concentrate here. Every house bank, every house bank, we want to create. Every house bank, we want to create three GLs account. What is that? Example, example. My house bank, my bank is HDFC. My bank is HDFC. So every bank account, 
every bank account i want to create three gls account three gls what is that hdfc main bank account hdfc outgoing payment account hdfc incoming payment account sir why three gls why not one gl how the accounting entry generated in the uh, sap what is the use of this three gls okay in the house bank i can maintain in my bank details every bank account every bank account i want to create three gls why what is meaning of, what is the use of main bank what is the use of outgoing payment what is the use of incoming payment let's see everyone let's see everyone try to understand here how the accounting entries will generated let's try to understand here everyone concentrate here concentrate here everyone for example vendor payment vendor payment vendor account data to hdfc outgoing payment account what is the vendor accounting entry guys vendor payment accounting entry how the accounting entry will generated example vendor account data to cash instead of vendor account data to cash why gmu is disconnecting everyone are you there yes sir are you able to see my screen yes sir no sir yes sir you couldn't see your screen sir you couldn't see yeah uh? one i can share one second now how is now no sir no sir no sir no this processing yes. i can share one second now we see sir no i disconnected actually <laughs> How is now? Uh, no sir, it's still no, sir. started. Yeah, we yes. see now. Now, yes sir. Huh? Sorry. Now we can see. Yes. Yes sir, we can. Sir, see, we can see sir. <coughs> Guys, let's see here. Let's see here. If you do the vendor payment, if you do the vendor payment, how the accounting entry will generated? How the accounting entry will generated here? vendor account data to hdfc outgoing payment if you do the brs bank reconciliation statement if you do the brs how the accounting entry will generated hdfc outgoing payment account data to hdfc main bank account it means this outgoing payment gl will credit here it will be debit here it will be credit here and it will be debit here so what is the final accounting entry final accounting entry is called vendor account data to hdfc main bank account and how the customer accounting entry will generated if you receive customer payment if you received customer payment how the accounting entry will generated hdfc incoming payment hdfc incoming payment account data to customer this is the customer payment this is the customer payment if you do the brs if you do the brs bank reconciliation statement how the accounting entry will generated hdfc main bank account data to hdfc incoming payment so what happened here this hdfc incoming payment is debit here at the time of customer payment and hdfc incoming payment is credit here so this debit and credit going to nullified it's become a zero so what is the final accounting entry final accounting entry is called hdfc main bank account data to customer 
so for that reason for this is the reason every house bank or every accounting id we want to create three gls one is hdfc main bank account hdfc outgoing payment and hdfc incoming payment everyone can you note it down this accounting entries anyone any doubts for this can i no, repeat sir. can i repeat one second not okay sir yeah please note it down please note it down maybe my voice is clear right yes sir yes sir yes please yes, yes thank you please note it down Done. Done, everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, Shashi, joined, ah? Huh? Yes, sir. Hey, very good. Good. Work. Guys, I will tell you one thing, ah. Huh? Shashi, ah, uh, basically, he is the senior student. Means. He, he, their batch is completed. Uh, uh, how when their batch is completed, Sishi? When your batch? Ah, uh, sir, two thousand twenty-one. Ah, uh, maybe it is September. Ah, uh, September. Ah, uh, September or October, I believe. September or yes, October. Yes, sir. Guys, their batch is completed in October. Due to some reason, Sishi Kanti is not attended some classes, but uh, due to some family issue, I believe. Ah. Uh, in their batch uh maybe 95% of people got job you know in their batch highest package is 16 lakhs he got job in cap gemini one person highest package is 16 lakhs all the people some people got job accenture cognogent such a nice batch only two or three people does not get who daily means they are not attending the class that is the reason their job is going to hold is this true sesi yes sir for this reason today i am in hyderabad very good very good you now you focus ah huh? okay yes. don't lose everyone i basically guys i feel proud regarding to that batch action are everyone everyone every week i received one call sir uh, job mila sir job aa gaya such a nice batch actually okay yeah, yeah anyone uh, means if you interest to speak them i can give their numbers okay don't call everyone ah uh, one person in case of any doubts one person can you speak to anyone and uh, you if you have any doubts you can uh, like uh, clarify their uh, doubts and all okay <coughs> Yeah, yes, everyone. Actually, I feel very happy regarding to that batch. Actually, good. Same like you also. Maybe in this batch also, uh, interested lot of people. I have expectation in this batch also. Okay, the all people regularly attending the classes. They are doing very good practice. Ninety percent of people doing the practice in this batch. In this batch, ninety percent of people doing the practice. 
even i am very happy that if you follow same like that 100% you will get the job lot of job opportunities in india regarding to sap lot many job opportunities the problem is the candidate should not have knowledge regarding to sap so if you learn sap 100% percent you will get the job okay 100 percent you will get the job okay please guys please practice her huh? yeah yes no okay yes sir yes, yes sir, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. <coughs> everyone concentrate here so house bank uh, how many gls i want to create three gls HDFC outgoing going to nullified HDFC incoming payment also going to nullified okay for example guys try to understand here now try to understand here house bank house bank what is meant by house bank house bank nothing but house bank nothing but bank master data bank master data and what is meant by accounting ID what is meant by accounting ID? Accounting ID nothing but bank account. Maybe saving account, current account, overdraft account. This is the bank account. Then what is meant by bank key? What is meant by bank key? Bank key nothing but. Bank key nothing but. IFSC code. Do you know what is the full form of IFSC code? Any accountant? IFSC code, bank key nothing but IFSC code. Anyone? No, huh? such today and tell me tomorrow what is the meaning of IFSC? Bank IFSC code. Okay. I, bank key nothing but IFSC code. Then every uh, bank like <coughs> three GLs we need to create. Okay. Now, example, guys. Example, example, example. Try to understand here try to understand here house bank house bank means house bank means house bank means bank master data bank master data bank master data boleto bank name bank address like bank phone number blah 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 etc so under this bank maybe hdfc bank HDFC bank so under this bank we have bank account under this bank we have bank account bank account bank account means example save saving account saving account or current account whatever current account so every every bank account every bank account example saving account saving account every bank account we want to create three gls what is that minimum three gls maximum based on your client requirement you can create n number of gls every gls what is that what is that gl example main bank account main bank account hdfc main bank account main bank account and hdfc outgoing hdfc outgoing payment outgoing payment payment account and here again hdfc incoming HDFC incoming payment incoming payment account okay so this is bank master data house bank house bank nothing but bank master data example HDFC bank or bank branch under the bank we have bank account number bank account number nothing but account ID account id in the sap terminology what we want to call 
account id nothing but bank account number bank account number example saving account number example saving account number every account we want to create three gls example example guys example i am telling same bank same bank i have one more account number same bank i have one more account number that is called current account current account here same hdfc bank we have saving account number and current account number also we have current account overdraft account how overdraft account we have different different accounts actually okay saving account current account overdraft account bharti madam joined ah ma'am how many accounts is there hi sir uh, what is that generally current account savings account and overdraft account uh, overdraft yeah. account that's it ah ma'am yes sir. example guys <coughs> Okay, thanks, madam. Sir, overdraft means a CC account, cash credit. Ah, 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 CC account. Yeah, whatever they named as like that. Okay, saving account and current account. Example, guys. Example. So, what is this saving current account? As per SAP terminology, as per SAP example, current account number. Account number. Current account. Saving account. Account. Current account means as per SAP terminology. Accounting ID, accounting ID nothing but account bank account number. Accounting ID, accounting ID nothing but bank account number. Example, I have two account numbers. One is current account number and saving account number. For saving account number, I created three GLs. Even for current account also, I want to create three GLs. I want to create three GLs. I want to create three GLs. I want to create. If you have, if you have, I want to create three GL. One is main bank account, main bank account, and incoming payment account and outgoing payment account. For example, guys. For example, if the vendor or if the customer, if the customer has deposited amount in current account. If the customer deposited uh, deposited amount in current account, that time this incoming account will be reflected. If the customer deposited amount in saving account number, that time this is the incoming account number will be generated. Okay, understood, guys? What I am telling? Yes, sir. Okay. Every accounting ID we want to create minimum three GLs. For example, for example, my accountant, my accountant, do the vendor payment through saving account. That time HDFC outgoing payment will be involved. My accountant uh, do the vendor payment. Through current account, that time this GL will be reflected. Outgoing payment, this GL will be reflected. That is the reason. We have one one bank master data. Under one bank master data, we have n number of accounting IDs. Accounting IDs means maybe saving account or maybe current account or maybe overdraft account. Maybe is there any any other accounts whatever. Every account, every account, we want to create minimum three GLs. Minimum three GLs. Okay. If you do any activity, funds amount is coming or amount is going, based on that, these GLs will be going to reflect it. Okay. So, guys, can you please note it down this waiter example? I have one doubt. Tell me, madam. If we have fixed deposit account, sir. Ah, huh, fixed deposit account. बोले तो वन create one accounting ID. Okay. Create one accounting ID and create three GLs. Okay. Mostly fixed deposit account 
we don't want to use for vendor payments and customer payments madam yes, sir generally uh, we will uh, deposit some amount for uh -huh. if you want you can create that one one more accounting id and for that okay. three gls okay okay thanks yep. Note it down, madam. Please. Done, done everyone? Done sir. Done now? Now guys, concentrate here, concentrate here. How to create house bank? House bank nothing but bank master data. Bank master data, bank master data. I can ask one question, I can ask one question. <clears throat> Where I can maintain vendor, vendor bank details? In vendor master data. Vendor master in vendor master data. Where I can maintain customer bank details? Customer, customer master, master data. Customer master data. Where I can maintain uh, where I can maintain our company bank details? House bank. In house bank. Okay. In house bank. Here we already noted now, I believe. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now, now my target is now my target is guys very very important huh? very very important see this one try to understand this huh? try to understand this create the gl accounts what gls i want to create hdfc main bank account maybe hdfc example maybe any bank andhra bank canara bank whatever bank okay <coughs> hdfc main bank account outgoing payment and incoming payment and create house bank house bank nothing but bank master data bank master data okay in the bank master data what details we can maintain bank master data nothing but like bank name bank address bank telephonic number blah 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 so check in same bank master data we can maintain bank account details maybe current account saving account whatever okay same this we can same here only we want to maintain ifsc code and shift code ifsc code and shift code shift code what is the meaning of uh, note it down everyone note it down the difference between ifsc code and the shift code difference between ifsc code and shift code analyze today and tell me tomorrow the difference between IFSC code and SIFT code. Tell me tomorrow, everyone. Code, yes, Anyone sir. have yes. idea about that? Now only. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. yes sir. Uh, Foreign transfers and uh, so it is used for only foreign transaction, whereas the IFSC will mainly used in the Indian banking. Okay. Very good. Any others? Sir, SIFT code is actually uh, Society of Worldwide International Financial Transactions. Sir. That is a bank ID, bank BIC code. We call it as BIC, Bank International Account Number. Actually, that is uh, IBAN number will be used for SIFT codes. So, whereas for IFSC code, that is uh, Indian Accounting Account Bank ID. Uh, for ICICI, uh, we might have ICIC001. 
or HDFC HDFC 002 that kind of uh, numbers will be there it is a reflection of that particular branch IFSC code mm -hmm. uh, whereas for international banks we see SIFT code SWIFT that is Society of Worldwide International Financial uh, Transactions that is a difference uh, that is what I know okay okay good good very good <coughs> guys do one thing you you everyone must analyze what is meant by IFSC code and SIFT code please keep it on your mind the client will be provided client will be provided our I bank details bank account details and IFSC code and SIFT code based on that we want to maintain that okay for example for example we are Wipro employees example we are Wipro employees we are doing B, uh, CM group of company project CM group of company project A CM group of company project okay and uh, now we are Wipro employees guys this is our client CM group of company this is our our client so I want to maintain bank details of CM group of company so what they will do so you are the here you want to ask them client you want to ask your client regarding to bank details which bank account you have what is the bank address what is the IFSC code for that what is the everything what is regarding to every information you want to collect it from them then you can create the configuration understood guys what I'm telling yes no yes. Yes. simple guys so my target is house bank nothing but bank master data every bank accounting ID we want to create three GLs okay let's try to create the GLs let's try to create the GLs go to FS double zero everyone concentrate here in the real time guys in the real time in the real time main bank must end with zero outgoing payment must end with one incoming payment must end with two okay why it is end with zero one two we will tell you later at the time of brs okay <laughs> let's create the gls guys let's create the gls Everyone are able to see my SAP screen, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, thank you. Then enter username and password. Yes, everyone. <clears throat> yeah, go to FS double zero, go to FS double zero, press enter, press enter. Better, uh, can you note it down this also, if you don't mind? If you don't mind, can you note it down this also, please? including numbers double two double zero three zero three one three two like that
dan dan everyone yes yes sir dan dan let's create the house bank guys go to double two double zero three zero company code cm one zero click on here create obviously uh, accounting id cash and bank comes under balance sheet everyone knows right yesterday like chaitanya will give very good presentation like uh, hdfc fcfc main bank account hdfc main bank account then click on your control data come down line item display short key 001 create bank interest tab g001 press enter and save now oh, one more guys don't forget to relevant to cash flow okay click on your edit don't forget this ha huh? relevant to cash flow at the time of cash gls creation at the time of bank gls creation you must click on relevant to cash flow don't forget this okay then click on your save and back now one more one more double two double zero three one click on your create cash and bank it comes under balance sheet hdfc outgoing payment account hdfc outgoing payment account then click on your control data then line item display open item management note it down note guys note it down note note it down note <coughs> note it down one note at the time of at the time of outgoing payment gl creation and incoming payment gl creation outgoing payment gl creation and incoming payment gl creation we must click on open item management we must click on open item management why because why because these two gls become nullified these two gls become nullified because example guys let's see here let's see here example at the time of vendor payment hdfc outgoing payment is credit after doing the brs hdfc outgoing payment is debit so this credit and debit going to nullified and if you do the customer payment hdfc incoming payment is debit if you do the brs hdfc incoming payment is a credit so debit and credit going to nullified it's become a zero it's nullified so that is the reason we want to select open item management understood guys yes sir yes click on here thank you create bank interest tab g001 relevant to cash flow enter and save enter and save okay then one more one more 
it's the last one three two then click on your create cash and bank comes under balance sheet like uh, HDFC incoming payment payment account incoming payment account HDFC incoming payment account incoming or outgoing incoming sorry outgoing sir outgoing ah huh? sir sir it is incoming incoming ah huh? 3 to incoming sir yeah. incoming relevant to cash flow enter and save click on your browse See this one double two double zero three zero HDFC main bank account double two double zero three one outgo HDFC outgoing payment double two double zero three two HDFC incoming payment okay yeah incoming payment now finally now the finally our main target finally our main target is to create the house bank bank master data house bank nothing but bank master data bank master data very 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 important t code bank master data okay okay guys bank master data what is the t code f512 f512 go to f512 press enter button in the keyboard press enter button in the keyboard then company code cm10 click on your create are okay then click on your new entry here you want to maintain i'm repeating once again guys i'm repeating once again go to f512 press enter button in the keyboard give it here your company code cm10 then okay then click on your new entry then click on your new entry then here you want to maintain okay everyone please stay one minute huh? please stay one minute please huh? okay uh, I, I will be back up huh? please wait huh? yes guys I am back everyone are able to see my screen yeah. Yeah, yeah. So go to uh, I'm repeating once again guys. Go to F512. Go to F512 and uh, give it your uh, CM10. Then sir, okay. can we go through path sir. Huh? Path path. Let's check in the I mean uh, how you can search the path, you know? Search underscore SAP underscore menu. The path will come okay you can use the t code click on your new entry and the house bank what is the house bank guys here you can set up any four digit here you can maintain any four digit it may be numerical or it may be alphabets for example for example cm hb 
you can maintain any four digit guys it may be numerical or it may be alphabets set up here cmhb the country country india in here here you want to maintain bank key bank key nothing but ifsc code bank key nothing but ifsc code okay so what is the ifsc code example hdfc double zero double zero eight one any any ifsc code you want to ask your client client will be give you ifsc code don't ask banker don't ask banker don't ask other outers okay if you required any information in the real time don't speak to outers huh? okay officially don't speak to anyone officially you want to speak your team lead officially you want to speak your client regarding to the projects okay don't speak to banker or don't speak to others your client will be provide the information based on that information you want to configure or you want to create the master data whatever you want okay then click on here create so specified here any four digit and uh, bank key means bank country india in india house i mean bank key means like ifsc code click on here create here here you want to maintain bank address example bank name bank full name is called hdfc bank bank region it is located in which region example it is located in andhra pradesh whatever wherever it is it's become example it is located in andhra pradesh and what is the street street is called uh, uh, ap street uh, a r street street city city it's called tirupati and branch branch is called air bypass road air bypass road branch air bypass air bypass road branch okay anyone from tirupati anyone is there no one na huh? anyone from tirupati no na huh? yes no maybe no yeah and shift code shift code guys try to understand here try to understand here here bank key means here you want to maintain ifsc code then click on here create if you click on here create one pop up will come like this here here you want to maintain bank address and shift code shift code nothing but you know the, you know you people can un analyze what is the difference between ifsc code and shift code ifsc code is used to transfer the amount within the country within india shift code is used to transfer to move the amount one country to another country here you want to maintain shift code is this correct guys yes, shift double zero one zero whatever then here bank number bank number means bank contact number bank contact number 9032456596 any contact number then click on here okay this is the bank and double click on click on here save click on here save save and double click on bank accounts click on your new entry here you want to maintain account id details accounting id means you want to maintain any four digit example cm uh, ha cm ha uh, like uh, example hdfc cm uh, hdfc accounting id 
accounting id or account id account id here guys here you want to maintain your bank account number saving account number current account number okay or overdraft account number or fd account number here you want to maintain your bank account number okay what is your bank account number 9876534567 whatever blah 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 x y z okay bank saving account number current account number whatever blah blah x y z then here currency inr and gl here you want to assign hdfc main bank account click on your browse hdfc main bank account what is that guys double two double zero three zero okay press enter and save press enter and save so this is my house bank id cmhb this is my accounting id accounting id nothing but bank account number house bank nothing but bank master data Yes, everyone. Sorry, I went for mute. Huh? Yeah, and uh, click on uh, next one. Assign house bank details to GL. Assign house bank details to GL. The last one. Go to FS double zero slash and go back. Go to FS double zero. Press enter and uh, double two double zero three zero enter this is the main bank account click on here create bank interest tab then edit what is my house bank guys cm just now we created now everyone are you there cmhb cmhb and what is my accounting id cm cm CMHA. Enter and save. Then one more, one more, one more. HDFC outgoing payment. What is my house bank and what is my accounting ID? Enter and save. Then one more, one more, three, two. Enter. HDFC incoming payment house bank and accounting id enter and save okay yeah. so this is house bank maintenance guys very simple create the gls and create house bank and assign house bank to gl accounts this is the three steps actually okay so thanks everyone thanks for joining basically i have some office call right now okay thanks everyone thanks for joining let's meet tomorrow with same time bye all Okay. Thank you.